Hi everyone, welcome back to the Geordie View. Newcastle United drew 2-2 two -two away to Wolverhampton Wanderers uh, yesterday. A bit frustrating, but at the same time, I would say it is a fair result. And um, Looking at our starting 11, um, Wilson came in for Isaac, who was unfortunately injured. But um, apart from that, it was practically the same. It was the same side uh, that uh, started against um, Borussia Dortmund. The first half, um, Port made some saves from um, Cunha and um, Neto. But um, the first goal of the game came as uh, Gordon put the cross in. Well, actually, Longstaff had an effort which went uh, just wide as well. But the first goal of the game came when Gordon put his cross in. Uh, Saar came out for it. Um, he, but he dropped the ball, he, he ran into one of his defenders and um, just came to Wilson. His first effort was uh, blocked, but then um, on the rebound, acrobatic effort into the go into the back of the net and um, it's 1-0. But then Wolves got themselves level not um, too long afterwards. Um, well, on 36 minutes. Um, the corner came in from uh, Neto and then um, it was a lovely header from uh, Lamina to make it 1-1. One, one. Um, Pope, do you question, um, your question should he have come out not that far? I mean, could he just stay back in his net? Probably should have. But um, we got ourselves back in front in stoppage time. We uh, had a corner. Uh, Trippier gave it to Cher. And Cher, he just gave the ball away. You're thinking, but then uh, the Wolves players, I can't remember who it was, just took too long on the ball. Cher came back. And um, yeah, the lad from Wolves, um, I forget who he was. He tried to clear it, but um, he caught Cher. It's a penalty. There's a lot of people saying it shouldn't have been given, but... Um, <laughs> Sorry, but for me it was a penalty, and that's not being biased. Um, I mean, because he was going for the ball, and maybe didn't expect to see share. But at the same time, he could have, he should have cleared that uh, earlier. But, um, Wilson stepped up, and I'm thinking, oh no, when um, initially Saar got um, got a hand to his effort. You think he saved it, but then it just goes the other way into the back of the net, and he's got his second goal to make it two one uh, in stoppage time. Wolves could have had a penalty. Uh, VAR did check for a handball on uh, Bruno, but thankfully nothing was given. But then um, in the second half, um, you know Wolves um, got their reward and they deserved the the draw. But um, the free kick comes in from Neto. Pope punches it away for me. Looking back at the highlights, I think he definitely needs to be catching that. And then Totti eventually gave it to uh, Huang, who cut in, who uh, beat Dan Byrne, and then just put it into the net. And four times now he's scored against us, because um, he scored both goals against us when we lost 2-1 down there in what proved to be the last game before Mike Ashley sold the club. He did score the equalising goal to James's part before um, Almiron got the winning goal. But, um, yeah, we were missing, you know, quality, potentially to come off the bench. Um, because we've got loads of injuries right now. Obviously, Barnes has been out for five weeks. He's, we're not going to see him until New Year, looks like. Um, Anderson's out for a while. Obviously, Isaac looks like he's going to be out until the next international break. Murphy injured as well. Uh, we brought on Joe Willock, who did okay again. But, um, you know, him and Joe Linton, obviously, they've had their injury problems. But they are, you'd say, getting better with uh, match fitness, match sharpness. And um, I'm sure Joe Willock will get back to his best, providing he doesn't pick up another injury. Um, 
But, um, you know, we didn't really have many options off the bench to use the I mean, to be fair, Eddie could also potentially raw target on because he did pretty well against Dortmund when he came on. Even Matt Ritchie wouldn't have been a bad shout. But, uh, I mean, it kind of just proves, you know, he's just here really for... Um, you know, the only reason he signed a one-year extension was, you know, for his coaching purposes. I mean, we even seen against Man City, he brought Livermento on instead of him to play out wide as a winger. But speaking of Livermento, that's another lad who potentially could have come on. I mean, Trippier just didn't have his best game yesterday. Maybe we could have brought him on, but then again, you know, would probably be pointing people would have probably pointed the finger at um, Eddie Howe. If um, he brought him on, and um, you know Wolves uh, got a winning goal, and it came from um, their left hand side, but um, yeah, all we can do now we'll just move on to uh, Manchester United in the Carabao Cup. It's going to be a hard game, especially with you know our squads being stretched. I'm already thinking, kind of with. You know, the international break will be quite welcome for us when that comes, but we've got to play, get through four games before that. You know, Man United in the, away in the Cup, then Arsenal at home in the league, and then Dortmund away again in the Champions League, which will be a big game for us after what happened on um, Wednesday. And then obviously we've got to go to Bournemouth away uh, before the international break comes. Uh, by the way, I'm actually probably, I should maybe be quite happy they finally got the first win of the season against Burnley yesterday because there was reports uh, Rayola was about to get the sack and I didn't want them to do be doing that right before we got to play them because I remember Scott Parker came in well sorry Scott Parker was sacked O'Neill came in and um, they got a point at St James's Park when he was having his honeymoon period of course we got help but to a draw by Leeds when Aldice had a short honeymoon period before things went uh, tits up for them and they got relegated but um, in terms of the Man United game, you know what, despite the last couple of results, you know, we've got a chance at still of beating them because, you know, the way they've be been playing this season, um, you know, the fact they've lost 3 0 at home in the derby, that's not going to be do their confidence any good. And um, hopefully we can take advantage of that. And um, I'm just glad it do, it's not going extra time, because um, I mean I didn't. I'm not a fan of extra time to be honest. I'd rather just go straight to penalties, which we're doing the Carabao Cup up until the semi-finals, I believe. But um, yeah, it's definitely good news for us that we wouldn't have to play extra time if it was to be drawn after uh, 90 minutes. But um, in terms of Man United, even the games um, that have won this season. Beat Wolves 1 0, but Wolves should have had a penalty at the end of that game. Um, they beat Forest 3 2, but you know, Forest has went 2 0 up in that game. For you know, um, Man United could easily have lost that game as well. Um, they beat Burnley 1 0 away from home, but then Burnley had chances. Sheffield United, you could probably argue they were lucky to win that game as well. Brentford, well, they were losing 1 0 until stoppage time. So, um, and even gets Copenhagen, they were a safe penalty away from, you know, Copenhagen were just a spot kick away from uh, getting a draw in that game. So, um, do you know what? If we, um, you know, if we put 100% effort in, uh, I mean, pff, dear me, Lewis Miley could have been playing. I mean, I feel like he'll play the likes of Lewis Hall, uh, Livermento, Target. Potentially dumb it, even. You know, because, you know, these lads obviously uh, features when we beat Man City. Livermento getting mad at the match. But, um, you know what it is, if we just put 100% effort in, you never know what can happen. Because uh, people didn't expect us to beat Man City and keep the clean sheet, uh, but we did that. So um, there's no, still no reason why we can't go to Old Trafford and um, get a win against the. Um, and um, some payback for when they beat us at Wembley in February. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to say for this video. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, what I've had to say.
uh, let us know what you thought of the match in the comments below and how you think we'll get on against Man United. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like on this um, channel if you haven't already. Um, my social media pages are in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.